progressively through the course of the expiry day, a speculator can buy option structures with a very small capital outlay, which can possibly provide a large profit if the index were to move only by a few points. This optically cheap option premium, which might be as low as a few hundred rupees as we approach expiry time, appears to entice a whole bunch of individuals to trade in and out on expiry day through the day. Trading in index options specifically close to expiry then starts to resemble a slot machine in a casino with individuals putting coins into the machine hoping to hit the jackpot. Even after the current consultation and the final steps that are eventually taken in this regard, we will continue to monitor activity in FNO markets and in a consultative fashion consider fresh steps, both developmental as well as regulatory, as necessary. In addition, both the expert working group for FNO and our secondary market advisory committee will debate other structural issues relating to derivative markets including ensuring that we are measuring and monitoring risks accurately and ensuring that there is some balance and connect between the underlying cash and derivative markets. Okay, it doesn't get clearer than that, does it? And uh, Mr. Anant Narayan, I think, was uh, part of the committee that's 